Welcome back to Every Other Carl. I'm Carl, and today I'm at Crested Butte, Colorado. I flew into Denver on a Thursday night with the determination to ski Crested Butte on Friday. If you could tell from the intro to this video, Crested Butte is a long way from Denver. I actually stayed in a little town outside of Denver called Evergreen, Colorado. This cut my travel time down a bit, but it still took a little over four hours to get there, including a couple pit stops. Honestly, I would not suggest doing what I did. It's obviously a better idea to stay somewhere closer to Crested Butte, but I wanted to see if it was possible and worth it. In the end, it was. Crested Butte is an incredible mountain far removed from the major corporate resorts in the Colorado Rockies. It's famous for its extreme terrain. If you look at this side of the map, you'll see exclusively double diamonds. This is where I wanted to start my day. I made my way up the Silver Queen Express lift from the base area and skied down Silver Queen Road past the Paradise Express lift to the North Face J-Bar. This brought me right above an area called the Glades. My goal from here was to get to a trail called Rambo, which is Crested Butte's most famous trail and the steepest inbound trail in America. Uh, all right, I'm in the expert area. Um, I think I'm in the glade section. I'm a little bit lost. It is hard to tell where you're going around here, but uh, I'm hunting for Rambo. That's the goal. I think I have to go that way. Check this out. This is Rambo. Would you do it? Uh, I'll show it to you. It's basically a 50 degree angle. I don't know if you can tell, but look at the trees here. That's how steep it is. It's also full of little rocks that you can't really see. I like my skis the way they are, so I don't think it's worth it. Also, I'm not skiing with anybody. I would feel a little more comfortable if I was with somebody in case I fall on this. I think it's like at the edge of my ability, but it's not worth it. Not worth it. There's better better skiing ahead. And uh, this is mostly just advanced side slipping. It even says that on the sign. Anyway, there it is. After deciding not to ski Rambo, I took the aptly named Easy Out Trail to this nice blue area and took a couple runs off the Paradise Express lifts until it was time for my chicken finger lunch at the Paradise Lodge. Sadly, I lost some of the ski footage from my helmet cam on this trip, so we're left with what I got off of my phone. The chicken fingers were good though. And a standard 1775. After lunch, I made my way back to the top and started exploring more of the mountain. By the way, you can ski off the very peak of the mountain, of course, but you have to hike all the way up. That's not something I was interested in with my limited time here, but it was cool to watch. Instead of that big hike, I explored a bunch more around the middle of the resort.
I eventually made the exciting traverse on Ruby Road across the front side of the mountain and ended up at the forest. I wish I had this footage because this was an amazing tree run that eventually brought me out at Lower International, which I took back down to the base. I knew it was getting close to time for me to leave to make my long drive back towards Denver, but I took one more awesome bump run off the Silver Queen Express lift down Twister, then back to base to end the day. All right, that's gonna do it for Crested Butte. Beautiful place, amazing expert terrain. It's a long drive, or it was for me, coming from Denver, but totally worth it. I highly recommend it. Till next time, I'm every other Carl. Please like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see ya.